this country is extremely overmothered and underfathered. So how could a boy learn to become a man when he has no real positive, present, intentional, purpose-driven male role model around him? And he can't. So there is absolutely a, a, a the recession on manhood. There's a recession on fatherhood. There's a war on masculinity. Yeah, fatherless homes, absent homes, lack of men becoming fathers. That's the real freaking pandemic in the world. That is th- this soft man disease is the deadliest disease going on right now. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today is is just as important or the most important episode ever as we talk about something that that is undervalued in the world nowadays. It's almost non-existent. And we are talking about the duty of man. You can call it masculinity or toxic masculinity or whatever you want to call it, but it's really, we're going to talk, dive into the duty of of a purpose-driven man. Because men, let me tell you something. The only way we could talk about what is the duty of man is to talk about the current state of affairs, where we're at. Because I'll tell you what, men, we have work to do. We have some fucking work to do. So we're going to start with kind of where we're at, how we need to operate to get to where we're going. And it's going to be a little different bit of a, a process today for the show. A lot of times I like to go into telling stories and it's a very structured, organized show. And this one is not any different when it comes to preparation, but this is more off of the thoughts that are on my mind. This is going to be a little more of a free-forming, free-flowing thoughts about the, the state of manhood and how a man needs to be acting these days as a man, as a husband, as a father, as what I call a freak father. And we're gonna, we need to start off with, with the dirt. We need to start off in the mud about what are the problems, what are the issues facing today's men. And right now, men these days, men are half-assing. They are, yeah, give or take, 50-50, more or less. Like that's the the attitude, the approach that today's men have. They're Mr. Nice Guy. You've, you've, you've probably read the book. I have it here up on the shelf somewhere. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm sure you've read about the Mr. Nice Guy. They're, they're afraid to rock the boat or offend anyone or hurt anyone's feelings. They're kind of half in, half out, never making any bold moves or taking any risks or really having any responsibility or accountability for their actions, for their people's actions, for their kids' actions. They're just drifting and floating and leaking through life. And we did a, a, a show a couple of weeks ago on the, the leaky manhood. And this is now going into what needs to be done about that leakiness that oozing of manhood coming out of men because there's a war on masculinity. Like all you hear is, oh, this is toxic masculinity if I've ever seen it. Like, holy shit. Like men need to stop avoiding shit. Men need to break stuff. Be bold. Take risks. I already said the responsibility and the accountability. Develop a character of fire. Be the, be, you need to become the one that women want to father their children because that's where, listen, that's where, where we're at. It used to be the biggest issue in this country was fatherless homes. Fatherless homes was the biggest issue. Then it and it really kind of went into, all right, fatherless homes is still an issue, but even just as much or even more impactful is the, the lack of a present father in the home because he's in the home, but he's just not present. He's not intentional. Lack of intentionality on the father in the home was the next level. And now things have gotten so whacked and fucking weird that we're to the next stage where it's to the point where men are not even wanting to have kids. They're not even wanting to become a father. So how could a boy learn to become a man when he has no real, positive, present, intentional, purpose-driven male role model around him? And he can't. So there is absolutely a, 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 a recession on manhood. There's a recession on fatherhood. There's a war on masculinity. Yeah, fatherless homes, absent homes, lack of men becoming fathers. That's the real freaking pandemic in the world. That is 
th- this soft man disease is the deadliest disease going on right now. You should wear a fucking mask to protect yourself against the bitch acidness that's out there in the world. Because this world right now, this country is extremely over mothered and under fathered. That is the real issue. That is the real problem of the fatherless, the absent father, and the men not becoming fathers because they were overmothered and underfathered. Like it's time to be a father. It's time to be a freaking man, a purpose driven man. Teach your son to be a leader, a man, a father. Teach him risk and responsibility because that's lacking. Both of those are lacking. Today's man works on, on his projects more than he works on him freaking self. He's fixing his car, building out his dream car, putting all the cool shiny shit on there. A fucking engine that roars that's so annoying when they drive by you. They're into their sports teams and their fantasy football league. And they can tell you all the statistics of all the men, uh, all the players on, on, the, on the football team, the baseball team. They're in their garage spending all this time fixing shit with their wrenches. It's very manly. Very manly. They're building out a new bathroom. They're, they're painting and roofing, and their, their garden is immaculate. They can mow the fuck out of a lawn. They don't need to hire anyone for the landscaping. They'll do it themselves. And listen, a side note, if that's a thing you're into, if you like doing that stuff and it's part of your routine, have at it. But I'm talking about men that escape, men that put more project work, more time and effort and energy and passion into all these other side projects, but then they're fat as fuck while they're doing it. Like if you're a fat dude mowing your own lawn, you've got your priorities wrong. You are taking better care of your fucking grass than of your gut. They work more. You need to work more on yourself, more on your families, more on your marriage, more on your kids, more on your relationships, more on your health and fitness than you do on all these other projects and tasks. Because then in addition to that, the, the, vices and temptations and all this other stuff that lure you to your own demise. You're into your own death. You need to resist them violently, fight them off aggressively. And if you're not first taking care of yourself and have that foundation, that strong foundation of who the fuck you are and what you stand for and what you're about, what you're made of and pushing yourself and pressuring yourself and challenging yourself and doing hard shit all the time and hardening your mind and your body, you will not be able to fight off those, the demons, the the oppressors, the, the adversity, the enemy, the devil, you won't be able to fight it off. Here's a saying, I don't remember who, who said it. said, the heaviest burden for a man is to have nothing to carry. That's men these days. They don't want the burden. They don't want to have any responsibility. They don't want to carry anything. They don't even want to have a kid. They're afraid to have kids because that's too big of a burden. And that's why they can't find the purpose in freaking life. And listen, we were made for, we were built for, we were fucking created for carrying that weight, bearing the burden, the problems, the pain, the adversity, the suffering, the struggles. This is what gives meaning to the life of a man. And what bigger burden, if you want to call it that, than having kids? You should have a kids and not look at it as a burden. That is a freaking, the purpose of man. That is a gift. You are meant to be the bringer of order in a chaotic world, and it's just not happening right now. But you need to start thinking of yourself as that way, bringing order to the chaos. The bringer of order in this chaotic world. And then deal with your lot like a fucking man. Where you're at, deal with it like a fucking man. Because you know what? You're where you are right now. You're in the situation you are right now, the circumstance you have right now, because of every decision you ever, ever made. Every decision. You made every decision that got you to where you are. So start acting like a fucking man. Do what the fuck you need to do. What you are called to do. What you are meant to do. What you were made and built and freaking created to do. This means fine-tuning and forging your character, your reputation, your credibility, your respect, your trust, and all those things, you need to first cultivate them in yourself. All first must be created and then lived 
and learned every day. And then you've earned the right to enforce those in other people. You need to create character, reputation, credibility, respect, and trust. And then you need to live all those things. And then you need to and are called upon to enforce them in your people. After you've created them, set them, live them, learn them, and then freaking enforce them. There was a, a book, I think one of Brian Tracy's books, talks about the five deepest needs of man. And they were, were the, the purpose to live for, the people to live with, the principles to live by, the profession to live out, and the power to live on. And what a great way to tie into this about a, being a purpose-driven man than that. Again, the, a purpose to live for, people to live with, principles to live by, a profession to live out, and fucking power to live on. That's what men, men are shit, shit. Men are lacking usually. They're o, most men nowadays are 0 for 5 and all those things. It is our duty and obligation to dive deeper into those. I call it being the flame keeper. You need to be the flame keeper. Keep the fire burning in, in the eyes of your people. Keep their minds ablaze. Help them carry the fire and, and the light and keep it fucking roaring and shining and blazing and providing heat and warmth and life and energy into your people and understand how powerful that is. That is your power as a man to be the flame keeper, to show up with intentionality and purpose. And the flame keeper is, is the one who is tending to the fire, that the, the fire that must be kept burning in your life, in your people's life. Keep the ideas alive. Keep it fucking going. Keep it roaring. Keep it blazing. The ideals alive of your people. Keeping their lifestyle that you've created for them alive. It's your duty and obligation to maintain the order, the discipline, the energy, the motivation, the momentum in your family, in your life, in your people's lives. Keep that belief and faith burning and growing and building and spreading the fucking fire. And that fire and fear and fun, that is the energy of life as a man. Doing shit that lights you up, gets you excited. Doing shit that's fun. Doing shit that's fearful, that's hard, that's challenging, that tests you to show, do you have what it takes? Do you still have what it takes? That's how you should be spending your time and your energy and your life as the flame keeper. Showing up with intentionality. Intentionality of just being deliberate and purposeful and well thought out and operating with meaning, making deliberate choices to, to reflect on what's most important on a regular basis. That is intentionality, how you show up, how you show up to each situation, each interaction, each relationship, each connection in your life. That's intentionality, having focus and commitment into what you're doing and what your, the direction, the trajectory of your life what, what, how does everything fall and fit into the big picture? Everything's done with a specific purpose. Nothing is unplanned or accidental or by chance. You're planning and, and preparing and very strategic and structured and tactical and technical. That is, is being an intentional, purpose-driven man. Being aware, being self-aware and present. Intentionality is being present. Like you are where your boots are what you do, what you speak, what you think, what you believe, what you feel. That's intentionality. That's presence. That's purposeful. And prioritizing all this stuff with your freaking purpose. That's the flame keeper. That's the intentional purpose-driven man who's always on overwatch, who's always looking over your people. You are the protector, the provider on guard, defending and watching over your people your focused protection while they execute their mission. You are on overwatch supporting your people, your family while they're moving around and they're achieving all their own individual goals. You're on overwatch, having the bubble over it, keeping them alive and alert and you are awake. You're not falling asleep at the wheel like most men today. You are bringing order to the chaos. Like we said, because men are made to stand watch, 
to be on guard, always fucking ready, always paying attention, always prepared, ready to defend, ready to attack, ready to fucking act. Because most men are asleep at the wheel while on duty. And as a father, you are always on duty. As a man, you are always on duty. As a fucking human, you are always on duty. Because we are meant, meant for more. We are meant for war. The daily battles, the grind. Get in the fucking game. Get in the fucking game. Get off the sidelines that you're living in in life. Get in the fucking game because men, men are meant to be watchful over everything. Having attention to detail, having situational awareness, especially over your family, yourself, your house, your neighbors, your community. You are meant to be watchful. You are meant to be on overwatch. And you know what? Most people will die never knowing what their true potential was as a man, never finding out what the fuck they were really made of, never knowing who the fuck they really are because they're not living a purpose-driven life as a purpose-driven, intentional, present man who is the flame keeper who is on Overwatch. You need to be the fucking force. Be the force in the room. Be the energy. Stop laying low. Stop hiding in the shadows. Stop being the gray man. Stop doing just enough. Stop just drifting by. Show your freaking true self who the fuck you are, and what the hell you're capable of on this planet as a man. Walk down the center of the room with your head up and your chest out and your shoulders back and down, your eyes open, your head on a swivel. Take charge. Stand out. Be fucking bold. Be known. Be seen. Make the room fucking nuclear. Make it light the fuck up. This is what we're meant for as men. We need, we're meant to... And we need to, we need to suffer and struggle and sacrifice. We need to find out what the fuck we're made of. We need to find out what we are capable of. We need to to find out if we have what it takes. If again, we still have what it takes. We need to find out if we are fucking men or just little bitch boys. Will Will we crumble under the pressure and make excuses when shit gets hard, when shit gets impossible? How will you react? How will you respond? Will you stand the fuck up? Will you show the fuck up? You need to challenge. We need, we, we need to challenge ourselves. We need to challenge and, and the, the violence. We need it. We need challenges. We need violence. We need darkness. We need suffering and pain and competition and fear and impossible tasks and danger and risk and adventure. Shit, just saying this shit lights me the fuck up as a man and makes me want to go and do some shit and make things happen. We need to find out again if we still have what the fuck it takes. Because you were, as a man, you were built to build. You were created to create. You were made strong to be strong. You were made smart to teach. You were made, you were, you were brought chaos so that you can bring order. You were made a man to lead. You were made a man to be a father. Carry these things with you. These things are assigned to you. Carry them. Bear the fucking burden. Carry the load because we have work to do and get busy on this role that you were given from your creator or God, the universe, however you want to put it. You were created to fulfill. Get busy on this work because we have work to do. And ask yourself, is what you're doing with your days and your life what you think you were created to do is what you're doing. What you think you were created to do. What more is there? And if there's more, what the fuck are you waiting for? There's a part in a book I was reading and it turns out it's like a segment. I think they got pieces from the Bible. I don't know if it is, but it's a book. I don't even remember the name of it. I got to look up the name, but they, the, the five points are the five pillars are of being a man is be watchful, stand, stand firm in the faith, Act like men, be strong, and let all that you do be done in love. Like take care of your people, the important people to your family, your people, your community. But think about that. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, and be strong. Like that's what it is to be a freaking man. You should be the source of strength and stability and leadership and fatherhood. That's what a man is. And... Sometimes we need to demonstrate 
that to each other. And we need to demonstrate to the world and demonstrate to our people and to ourselves that we are men, that we are capable, that we, we have what the fuck it takes, that we can and should be followed, that we are built different, that we have strength and honor and courage and mastery, like they say in The Way of Men, the book, that we have fucking balls, that we are bold and tough and fucking leaders, that we are providers and protectors and human, that we are motherfucking men because it's your fucking job. This is, this is what you're here for. This is what you were built for. This is literally what you were created for as a man. It's why you were freaking made. So what the fuck are you waiting for? Why are you bullshitting and half-assing on this responsibility of you as a man? You were made to build, to create, to, to provide, to grow, to protect, to fight and battle and lead and fucking drive forward and to control yourself and to attack. This is what you were built for. To grow every fucking day, get better every fucking day, to learn and evolve and explode every freaking day into a better, newer freaking man. You weren't meant to stay in place. Staying in place is going backwards while the world and the competition and the enemy moves closer or ahead of you. It's the opposite of what the fuck you were meant to do to just stay in place. Oh, I'm good. I'm comfortable. You know, we say in the military, complacency kills. Drive forward, keep freaking moving, keep fucking growing. Otherwise, manhood is like being on an escalator, an escalator that's going down and you're just sitting on it. If you stay still, you're going to end up at the bottom of failure, at the bottom of the pile, no success, no fulfillment, no impact. You on that elevator that's moving down, you need to be constantly not just moving at a, co- a consistent pace. If you just go at a normal pace, you're going to just, just stay in place. And staying in place is not good enough. You need to go faster than the downward spiral so you can can improve and get better and rise and raise up and get to that top of that fucking mountain. And then when you get to the top of the mountain, you're going to see another bigger mountain in the the distance that's even bigger than the one you're on. And it's time to go and attack that one. Drive forward. Keep moving. Keep fucking growing. Continue to create allies that are going to help you on this journey because you weren't meant to do this shit alone. You, You were meant to connect. Not to just grow yourself, but also help others grow and let others help you grow. Because every day, you should be getting better. Every day is a new evolution, a new man, a new fucking beast, a new level of creation of what you were created for. And if you stay the same, you're just a dying old man, a has-been beast, a lesser, weaker, previous, older you, when you should be a good freaking father, a father to your people, a father to your neighbors, a father to young men around you, a father to your kids, a father to your community. A good leader will get his people, his family, his team to have some freaking faith and belief in him as a leader, but also in something bigger than themselves, something that's almost not even understandable. He needs to make them have that more belief and faith and spirituality in something higher calling. It's part of the mission as of a man and a husband and a father. They have to believe that there is more to our life, more to our existence than just just going day to day, just the rut, the everyday rut, trying to be good, having discipline, trying to do the right thing to succeed. There is more to it. And what is success? What is success to you? Help them discover and believe and, and learn the meaning of life. The, the, what is a purpose-driven man? What is their purpose? What is success? That's what a man does. It helps others, helps their people, especially their kids uncover that stuff because you know what? They're always watching, even when you don't fucking know it. Other people are watching, not just your kids. You have no idea who needs you, who is watching, who is affected or inspired or motivated or infected or, or fired the fuck up by you because of you. They are out there. They are watching and they fucking need you. You can't, you, you just can't stop. This is your motherfucking calling, your purpose. This is why you were created, your entire existence. Yes, your kids are watching and that's what init- is initially important, but your people are also watching. Strangers and followers and enemies are watching. They all fucking need you. 
You know what else is watching? The universe. The universe is watching you and following you. Your creator, your God, your whatever you want to call it, whatever your beliefs are, is freaking watching and listening and following and taking notes. The universe sees your ass. It knows. It's time to step up your game, motherfucker. Step up your game as a man. Time to get in the game. Get your house in order. Because relationships and experiences are your purpose. Another saying, I don't know where it came from. I don't, can't keep track of where they are. I just hear them. You read them and they're in your head. And I don't remember the, where, where it comes from. The greatest gift you can give someone is your time. And it's giving, that's giving part of your life that you're never going to get back. And that's what fathers are. That's what men are. Men need to be fathers, not just their sons. Even if you don't have sons, men also need fathering from other men. So you need to be around other men, around other like-minded men. You need to be strong and decisive and teachable and, and question things that you should be teaching your kids to be strong, defi- de- decisive, coachable, and teachable, to question things, not to be people pleasers. And ask yourself, as a man, are you ready to stand up and fight for what you believe in, what you stand for? Are you ready to be the most hated man in the city because of the, your beliefs and the way you do things, the way you operate? Like shit, sometimes on, online, social media, I am the most hated motherfucker on, on social media. And I don't care because I'm such a purpose-driven man. I know what I'm after. I know where I'm going. I know what I stand for, that that stuff is just not even noise. It doesn't even exist. You need to be extreme like that and bold and take risks and stand up and stand out and speak up, but also know when to shut the fuck up. You need to be this new man, this new beast every freaking day who is smarter and stronger and wiser and more violent and more vicious and more strategic and richer and wealthier and more have more fun. A better leader, a better husband, a better father, a better fucking man every damn day. And to become this type of purpose-driven man, yeah, it takes work. You must put in the work. You must contribute. You must give more than you take. I need to challenge and test myself and push and pressure myself every day, sometimes against myself, my previous version of myself, sometimes against other men. Shit, sometimes against my kids. You also need to be around other higher caliber men more often so you can do what you were meant to fucking do. Do what you were made to do. Do what you're expected to do. Do what you, what, what they, your people, your peers, your friends, your family, what they deserve for you to do. Do what you know you fucking should be doing. Do the freaking work. Men, of, you have been summoned as a father. You have summoned to be a father, to raise and train and prepare young men to be the freaking future to be the future leaders who create future leaders and live a life of freedom and bring freedom to their people. Your purpose in life, having kids and making babies and, and having faith. And, and if you are a man that does have kids and you lack purpose, I've said it before, shame on you, motherfucker. Another, another quote, again, don't know where it came from. It's, it's not the load that burdens a man. It's the way he carries it. You think of your kids and your life and your job and your house and your bills. Oh, it's a burden. Poor little me. Like, shut the fuck up. Appreciate the shit you have and nut up and man up. You have to earn the right to be followed, to be listened to, to be taken serious, to be trusted, to be called upon by your people, to be called upon by the universe, to be called upon by by God or your creator, to be invited into the next level that you're intended to be as a man. You have to earn the right to lead your people, to be a role model to your people, to your kids, to coach people, to be a mentor. You have to earn that right as a man, but it is your duty as a man to earn it through your experiences, through your pain, your suffering, your stories of perseverance, your stories of, of, of figuring it the fuck out, of flipping the switch in your life and breaking the cycles, your story, your journey, your methods, your pain and struggle, and tragedies, and trauma can all be another man's triumph. Can all be your triumph, motherfucker. Teach your kids 
to take all your good traits, but also acknowledge and remove all of your not so traits that you have in themselves. You might have it in you, but they don't need to have it in them. And then all the time we've talked about before the whole, even yet as a man, you can be an always an even better husband an even better father an even better man. And it is your goal, your duty, your obligation, your purpose as a, a as an intentional present purpose driven man and father to get better, even better every motherfucking day. That is your job. That is your duty, your obligation to get better every freaking day. This is the duty of a man. This is an intentional, present, purpose-driven man. I want to hear what does it mean to you to be a purpose-driven man? What is your purpose in life as a man? Put it in the comments down below. And if you want to join a group of other purpose-driven men, send me a message about the Freak Father Alliance. It is a men's mentorship group coaching program where we attack our mindset, muscles, money, mission, mastery, and meaning as a purpose-driven man. Send me a message. We could get you locked in into the next session. It's group coaching program. Included with it is a full-fledged fitness program that you have access, full access to for life, no matter how long you're in the, in the Freak Father Alliance. So send me a message. I'll send you information on that. Let's get rolling. Go out there. Be an even better husband, an even better father, an even better man. Be the type of man your son wants to become. Be the type of man your daughter wants to marry. Be the type of man your wife can respect and feel safe around. And if you're doing those things, then in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.